The very latest on the tragedy on Sylvan Lake. Investigators are still trying to piece together what went wrong, how two small children were killed having fun with their family. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us from Orchard Lake where a vigil will begin soon and no doubt so many heavy hearts in that area, Kim. Absolutely, Joanne. Just such an unimaginable loss for the Mansours, their extended family and friends. And so many people will be gathering here at the grotto tonight. We're here at St. Mary's Grotto, as so many people will no doubt be gathering here to pray for the family. We're continuing to look at the physical evidence and, and seeking any witnesses that may have seen what happened. If we haven't talked to them, we'd love to talk to them just to get their perspective and flesh out any information that we may not have. These are the faces of the three young men sword children. The youngest, six-year-old Gabrielle, was supposed to start the first grade in the fall. She was killed in this horrific boating accident, along with her brother, 11-year-old Alexander. Their 10-year-old sister, Adriana, is in critical condition. Investigators say they will obtain the 911 calls so they can hear what witnesses were reporting just after the raft the children were on was hit by this boat on Sylvan Lake. The children were being pulled by their father, who was on this personal watercraft. Something else investigators say they will be doing is plotting out the accident on a map of the lake, trying to figure out how this could have happened based on the statements of witnesses and the boater and the children's father when they are both able to talk to investigators. It looks like a tragic accident. There may have been, you know, boating violations that were, were done, but that won't make anybody feel any better or bring any kind of closure to anyone. It's such a huge, horrendous tragedy that... At the end of the day, that's all we can do is pray for the family.